Sagittarius, welcome to your Who's Thinking About You weekly tarot love reading. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you that are returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here, it is going to be a general tarot spread and what this means is that it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching, so please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me, to do so please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is, along with all the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you more closely. So the spread here is intended for Sagittarius Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And of course to those cross-watching. So let's take a look at who is it that has been thinking about you. And what's been on their mind lately. Okay. got a few cards that have come out here. Okay. So we do have the Seven of Swords, the Emperor. I don't know what order they are in now, but the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, um... I feel like you're dealing uh, with someone here, Sagittarius, who is, uh, they are thinking about you, but I also feel like their focus with the Seven of Cups, their focus isn't just on you. I feel like this is more of a player or this is someone who is uh, who is in the past and you've tried to make it work with this individual, but I feel like it, um, it never really uh, came to fruition or it did and this, it ended painfully. This person has betrayed you has deceived you, they've broken your trust here, this person has rejected you. I feel like things have ended really painfully or it has been a very, um, it has been a very painful connection. There's been um, a lot of emotional turbulence in this connection. You've had to deal with a lot in regards to this person. I'm getting a frivolous energy to them and I feel like this individual is someone who has a player energy to them. Um, Look, they are thinking about you and they are into you, but probably not as much as you are into them. And um, this individual right now, uh, I feel like the communication is on and off with you. It's hot and cold with you. And I do feel like this is someone who is quite manipulative, uh, okay, and quite deceiving as well. So be careful that you don't uh, fall for their web of lies here. With the emperor, I feel like this is someone who needs to have, it's a bit of a game to them, okay? They need to have control when it comes to uh, connections and when it comes to relationships. Um, you know, they can sometimes play mind games here. They can sometimes guilt trip you. They can sometimes play hard to get. Uh, they can sometimes be someone who delays their responses to your text messages. They'll respond, but they'll do so delayingly. This is all an attempt to gain control over the co connection and over the direction. This is to keep you waiting, keeping to keep you sweating here. Okay. Um, they're also very wait. Sorry, very vague about where this connection is going. Um, but I feel like Sagittarius, you know, you have a hunch that um, it's not really. It hasn't gotten far yet. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you know that this is something that probably is going round in circles rather than, you know, it's something that lacks direction here from what I can see. It, this is someone who has hurt you, okay? They have hurt you. So look, maybe you guys aren't talking right now, or if you guys are talking, I feel like there isn't really proper communication between the two of you. And I also feel like this is a, um, they've caused you a lot of pain here. They've caused you a lot of pain here. Um. I also feel like they play with your mind here uh, in an attempt to find out what it is that you truly feel about them. I don't feel like this is a, a good person for you here. I do feel like it's something that you've ended with. You've ended things. In your mind, this connection is ended. The ties have been cut and, you know, you've, you've walked away from this person. This person is still thinking about you though and they still think that they have a chance with you he Sagittarius but I feel like they're under some sort of delusion here I think they're a little bit deluded or they're under some sort of illusions here thinking that you know they still have the chance I mean they've done you wrong on so many occasions they've pained you and they've wronged you and you know yet they still think that you guys can make it work 
I mean, I mean, this is someone who was never, I feel like this person during the pretty much the duration of your connection here, I feel like this person was someone who uh, was never really honest with you. They were re never really honest about their emotion. And even if, as if you guys, even when you guys were in a, uh, were in contact here, um, it seems as though this person still had someone else. Okay, I feel like it might have been a third party situation here. Like, yes, you guys were in a connection, you guys were talking, but they were also talking to someone else. The Seven of Cups, he tells me that they have options or they like to keep their options open. It feeds their ego, it makes them feel wanted, important, um, you know, and this connection here, if you keep pursuing it, I feel like it's destined for failure. And us, you know, it's not very um, encouraging, but. This is someone who I feel like is going around in circles. And look, they are thinking about you, but I feel like it's more to feed their ego here. And they are um, they are hoping to reach out to you and to reconnect with you. But I don't feel like they're hoping for anything serious. I just feel like they're hoping to slip back into their old ways here, which uh, Sagittarius, I don't feel like that's going to work for you, right? I don't feel like that is going to work for you. Um, the, the things that they say or they do, the actions that they carry out, the words that they say, it's like they're totally oblivious to the consequences of their words or their actions um, on you. Okay, All they care is about themselves. They're very self very self indulgent here. They're very self centered. They're very they're a very egotistical being. Um, and even this back and forth, yes, they are thinking about you. But as I said at the start of this reading, they're also thinking about something else. So look, to them, you're an option. You are not a priority. Okay, um, their focus is on you. It's on. It's also centered on other people here. So it's just, I feel like they use you either as a distraction, as a convenience, or they use you to feed their ego here. Like, you know, uh, to th they thrive off attention here. And, you know, the fact that the Seven of Cups is just above the Ten of Swords, it's ended. It's ended painfully here. This person has betrayed you, deceived you. But then there is a light, uh, the sunlight that breaks through the dark clouds. This, to me, I feel like indicates that, you know, you have... Um, you have outgrown them. You've outgrown this connection. But the Seven of Cups tells me that this person is deluded here. They're deluded about, you know, uh, reconnecting with you and uh, giving this connection a second go. It's ended, though. There's no part two here. There's no, there's no saga. Okay, guys, and that there is your spread. So, as always, thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you that do want a reading with me, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, guys, do take care. I wish you all the very best. Um, stay safe out there, and I'll catch up with you later in the week.